good afternoon. Uh, I work at the Netherlands Institute of Ecology and there we, we do very hard research on how ecology can contribute to solutions for a sustainable and more green world. And when the UNESCO organization asked me to head the international jury this year, I felt very privileged to be able to evaluate these projects of, on which over 300 participants from 40 countries worked on for months and months in a row. That was truly an honor. With a jury team consisting of academics from multiple disciplines, such as uh, mathematics, socio-economics, -econ economy, computer sciences, engineers, biologists, toxicologists, we saw the difficult task ahead of us to select the winners. Because after all, this is a competition. Again, this year the quality of the project was very high. We saw innovative solutions for a greener, more sustainable world, ranging from water purification to alternative energy sources to waste recycling. Students dressed in the most colorful outfits from the countries of their origin um, explained how their ideas could change the world. I have seen teenagers willing to think outside the box, willing to think creative and show perseverance and an independent mindset. These are all valuable assets when you, when you want to become a scientist. I hope that you will proceed on the scientific path you set already some steps on. This world needs scientists that are willing to think outside the box and are a true inspiration for society and economy. And without further, further ado, I would like to announce the public awards. So these are awards that are chosen by the visitors of the INESPO for the last couple of days. The first prize to be won is for the International Public Awards. <laughs> That's a team from Kazakhstan uh, who had a project on worldwide enforcement of alternative energy sources and its development. Thank you. 